And we should be live. And I am back. Having survived my birthday. More or less. No more, more or less. Mostly survived. I still have uh, some alcohol to go. Uh, that'll be on the docket for tomorrow night. more than enough to get it to the max, and we don't we'll want to hold on to this for later. However, eh, hmm. this one may do the same. No, it's not going to quite get us to level 20. When you hit to level 20, um, you want to get a second one up to level 20. You can combine the two level 20s you know where to find me. into, uh, from a green tier right now, damn it. Uh, green tier up to the next tier, which is blue, and it starts at level, but you can go up to level 25. And even level one, um, worth more than, does more damage than a level 23. And then from green to blue to purple to. Entirely positive. I can't remember. My brain, you know, it, uh, it, it used to be fine and, and work functioning very, very well indeed. Not too much anymore. Good evening to whomever has joined me, and you, sir or ma'am, are quite welcome. Oh, did I have a package to return? I think I did. Did. See, I remember things. Some things, occasionally. Oh, excellent. Up to level 14 on our neck talisman. Actually, I need to keep my eye open for pistols and the talismans I have to start building up the second one so that I can upgrade them. Madame Roger. Madame Roger has been having dark visions involving ravens. Look at the source of her visions. Talk to me. I sense... I sense an alien presence. The fog obscures a terrible truth concealed behind a veil of... Sorry, old habits. Hey, just so you know, I don't do readings anymore. I've been outside. You don't need second sight to foretell our future. We're all doomed. It's not like I'm gonna need the money. It's strange, but it's the dreams that really get to me, not reality. I can handle reality, but those nightmares just... It's like a really annoying song that gets stuck in your head repeating over and over That's and called over. an earworm, dear. But the dreams are always about ravens. Thousands of ravens, flapping wings, black feathers, dead eyes, beaks. And They're smarter than some people. And clawing and screeching. Wings of death and pestilence. A black, timeless malice covering Kingsmith like a funeral shroud. You get the idea. I don't know what any of it means, but it's doing a number on my beauty sleep. I can tell you that. Doodly doo. Search for ravens. Spoiler: finding them will be easy. Then we have to follow them. Oh, there's a raven. Basically, all you have to do is. Line up where they're going and run straight. 
keep an eye out for where they're going to show up next. Right here. few batches he'll show up again, the Revenant will. Two, I believe there's a total of five. Doodly-oo! Ravens. over there. Yep. Hi, guys. So I did play a little bit more of the original The Secret World. It crashed out. It was, it definitely was a, a more different experience than I remembered, if that makes sense. Where are the ravens? So my opinion had been that I didn't think they'd changed all that much. Brought out the new version, let's say. Find a way to call the Revenant. That's the phone book. There's a piece of paper around here somewhere, I think. Yeah. They made more changes than I remember. Let's see, uh, bind malevolent spirits by placing reagents in the point of a star, reagents. I think there's an order to it. Let's look at the note again. I don't remember what the order is. Actually, it may not be an order. It may just be that there's more places you can drop, so... Northwest and Southwest. So this should be Northwest, right? Ah. Uh -huh. And this would be Southwest. Well, that's just South. Southeast was not one. South, southwest. That's just west. So it's south, southwest, northeast, and south. Up, I think. 
east. North. West. That did not work. Okay, so we'll try it again. Okay. We'll get the, th the easy three first. North, east, and south. That's south. East. This should be north. And it was northwest and southwest. There he is. Oh, there already were ones in the northwest and the south. woman who dresses up as a fortune cookie must not be surprised to discover fortunes inside of her. And if she calls her shop the raven's knock, it won't be eagles or crows that flock in her dreams. Irony is the laughter of chaos. Do not underestimate sign's importance. The revenant is an omen that smells the approach of death in the air. Learn to read the ravens, and you will learn to see death before it strikes. Okay. I'll do that then. All right, we've got another neck piece. So we'll continue to feed this one because it's got two pips. Every one pip one will get one feed. If we get a three pipper though, that will be the next one that we save and convert because that will be of higher quality. You can combine them in either direction. One level 20 and meld it to another. So we we'll have a level 25 max. If you choose the right one, you can get a higher quality than you start. Uh, abandoned cell phone. Despite having a cracked screen and being wet, the phone still seems to work. The owner is still alive. He or she would probably like it back. The label on the back of the phone reads property of Danny Dufresne and Dufresne and Son. Here we've got a box of squid. Well, who can say no to a box of squid? I know I, I, I can. Although, well-cooked squid is delicious. Fried calamari. Is a good fried calamari. Rotting squid fills these cartons and the stench rips at the nostrils. Someone, or something, has a taste for putrid squid and several boxes have been pulled off the truck and emptied. Follow the trail to find out what's snacking on smelly Visual squid. Visual tracking initiated. Visual tracking, all right. Oh, we've got boxes over here. We've got more undead. Hi, guys. Are you guys eating the squid? No, I didn't think so. You want brains, don't you? Yeah. Understandable. Brains are delicious. Uh, gotta say I love them. Spoiler, I've never actually eaten brains. Human or otherwise. have no great interest in trying squid, I would say. I mean, brains. Like I said, squid, I do like it. Well, cool. These guys appear to be chowing down on squid. Inspect the box of squid. And something didn't like, like me um, flexing around with its squid, evidently. An assault rifle. Critical empowerment results. Mm -hmm. Critical empowerment. Mm -hmm. 
to make sure sometimes you hear a noise, something going <laughs> when it's falling over here. To get you to turn around and plug it. With a veritable rain, a hail even, of bullets. Sometimes uh, you don't need to use, uh, use a whole, a whole hail. A partial hail will do the trick. Friend and sons. Gone skate, Danny. Place the phone in the mailbox. Madame Roger? Sure, why not? She's got another quest for us. Am I off by a block? I am off by a block. Well, we've got the church right here. How about we hit the church instead? Convenient. He actually has four quests of memory serves. Indeed, he does. Hi, Henry Hawthorne. A sacred place, according to Henry Hawthorne, the Kingsmith Congregational Church is protected by ancient Illuminati wards. Investigate the wards and try to figure out how they work. Talk to me, Henry. Blessed are the meek, but doubly blessed are those who do the Lord's work boldly. It is through his grace that we find sanctuary in his house, when his house is besieged by, um, by zombies. Not to belittle the Lord's work, but perhaps the Illuminated Ones made this place a safe place through some conjuration of theirs. Blessed by the Lord, of course, or at the very least tolerated. Whatever the providence of our sanctuary, it extends no further than the doorstep. Even the cemetery spills over with the devil's spawn. I've tried prayer, I've tried my 44, but Satan's wearing Kevlar, and Bible thumping uh, just pisses them off. Oh, but Ed, David is past that stage. Why not show Ed the one you Draw zombies into the church. Easily done, we need to get five. They come in batches of four. We'll have to get two batches of zombies. Oh, zomboys. Oops. Ow, 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 and... There's four out of five. Oh, evidently there were five. Uh, study the Illuminati Ward. Study the second Illuminati Ward. Do -do -do. It's the second ward. It's the second ward. Third ward? Well, the first ward on the graveyard fence. Naturally, I followed all the experiments along this line, but you seem to have just much progress. David, you have to go to the library then. He's ready for the new Well, I'm all for research, David. Everywhere. No one will listen to me. Well, in a way, you can't blame them. Six two Even three six hertz. Training, the idea seems, well, blasphemous. No idea I don't remember that. You can't stop scientific progress because of a so-called moral concept. Besides, what's 
What could be less blasphemous than the triumph, the death? <laughs> I'm sorry, but I can't see it that way. I wouldn't want to try it on. Another player. When I'm dead, I want to stay. Oh, that's foolish of you. Well, if I die first, I want David to use me for a truck. Gonna knock me down again, isn't he? Mm -hmm. No, no, he didn't. Uh -huh. <laughs> He's afraid of me. I've seen David's work go to where the technique is perfect. Before long, his experiments will be recognized by the whole medical world. If I can help him achieve that goal, I'm willing to do anything. Living or dead. I mean it. That's what's coming across the short wave. There's a short wave, but there doesn't appear to be any quest associated with it, and I don't remember. Fine, right? Is it just being he being forgetful? Legend. And another one. More lore, more lore. Lore's worth XP as well. So. A vengeful Hulk! he was. He's not vengeful anymore. He's friendly. Are they friendly spirits? David, this is no laboratory experiment. Ruth was your wife. She is my wife. The only woman I ever loved. That's why I want to bring her back. Kingsmouth War Memorial. Like so many other small towns across the country, lost soldiers in the Second World War. A quick glance at the nearby grave reveals that some veterans have risen as walking dead. Honor them by putting them back in their graves. This is impossible. We'll rob old man death. All right, we gotta put the veterans back in their graves. <laughs> Which I don't think we means we actually have to carry them back and rebury them. I think we just have to. Kill them. Re-kill them. Fascinating. The wards in the church should hold indefinitely, but will not be easy to duplicate. It's not a question of holiness, but of advanced chaos control and study. One day, you will master such anime powers and at anima powers. A-N-I-M-A, -A, not anima power. For now, we must make use of what we have. Your findings show that the church was constructed as a safe haven against precisely this kind of onslaught. It seems that the old Illuminati Magi, the founders of the town, knew from the very beginning that Kingsmouth was a place of darkness. Well, darkness is a bit dramatic. Maybe it just has bad vibes. Which pretty much would be the same thing. I've got to kill in each area. There is one veteran who has risen from the grave. Zed Flamer Johnson is one of them. So-called Flamer, presumably because he has a lot of fire attack that he does. All right, we got one of them taken care of. We'll grab the uh, flushed brochure. Kingsmith Townie must have had strong feelings about Morning Light Project for this to end up here. Uh, crazed Ripper. Oh, I thought he was going to take off after me, but no, no, he did not. Um, we will get back to the other Veterans Day quest. Thank you. I tell you, uh... 
the evening and the mist make for an effective um, feel generator. It feels creepier than it does during broad daylight. It does use uh, does have a day night cycle. And I'm looking for another um, zomboy around here somewhere. I am looking for Cannonball Bill. Bill? Looking for you, Mr. Mr. Ball? Oh, I think that's probably him. It's Cannonball Bill. Two down. This is the uh, the cultists' encampment. Note they have uh, their own ways of keeping things out. This is the hippie camp. And there's another undeady around here somewhere that we are looking for. Uh, that's a Wendigo. Is it going to attack? I've had enough of you coming after me. There is a body. It is indeed Deadeye Dan Williams. Two left. Next up will be uh, Terry O'Reilly, the Irish tank. Terry. Is that short for Terrence? Shipwrecked dead. That's not what I'm looking for. Uh, that's Terry O'Reilly, the Irish tank, and he's big. He is big. Just leaves one. Edwin the Doc Manon. Meh. What's up, Doc? I think I see a little motion. Uh, no, that's a cunning feral zombie. That's not the fellow I'm looking for. Not sure how cunning he is. If, if I saw them, several of them. Oh, it's Doc and, and friend. He has a friend. It's nice to have friends, you know? Doo -doo -doo. Loot. Another weapon. Oh, very nice. Well, we will keep the pistol. But we're going to want to start upgrading that pretty soon. Examine the brochure. Oh, I grabbed the quest, but didn't. Didn't click the clicky. <coughs> I have failed and feel shame. I'm over it. We'll grab that. Come see us at Langmore Trail. Yeah, in a bit. Uh, what do we have here? I think I still need to hit a certain level before I can go to that. Uh, yeah, I think it was 14. Let's see what else we've got. Oh, we got more quests for Hawthorne. We'll do. We are where? Is 
exactly. Over there, we are aimed right at the church. Then we will oh, run to the church and we'll do the second quest for him. I don't know, David. Take your word for example. Wonderful, but you have to be very cautious. I think working with monkeys is about as far as you should go right now. Oh, but Ed, David is past that stage. Why not show Ed the one you worked on today, darling? If you'd like to see it, Ed, it's right in the lab. Yes, I would. I saw it last night after you injected the poison. I'll get it. David. Good evening, Z. It's in the second phase. How you doing? Don't know what I do without her. If she ever gets. All right, Henry, what do you got for the second one? Dust to Dust. Henry Hawthorne alludes cryptically to part of Kingsmith's past rising, to a part of Kingsmith's past rising to haunt them yet again. Someone is digging where they shouldn't, and they have to stop. Talk to me. Oh, very nice. Kingsmith is not a town without its blight. It's fallow seasons. I shall be hitting the remains of uh, my alcohol fruit tomorrow evening. The demons are plucking forgotten apples that should have been left to rot on the boughs of Kingsmith's tree, planted in unsanctified soil. By apples, I mean bodies. The tree represents uh, graves, and the unsanctified soil means... Excellent call. Well, unsanctified soil. Unmarked graves. If you've got uh, mass graves, a, uh, a case the of the Omnoms, uh, a burrito ancestors. on top of the beer. I'm sure of it. it seems I like mean, a who am I to question choice. these men of action? Those men of God. Even if they did stumble in their faith, well, that can happen to all of us. We forget to say grace. We lie. We cheat. We fornicate. We do worse. We have more immediate concerns than being ministers of past sins. What, do you what got they're there, digging up is something some that beans, should remain buried. Rice, Hidden maybe from inquisitive eyes and wagging lingua? tongues. Ashes to ashes. Dust to dust. Locate an unmarked mass grave. Great town you guys have got here. A whole lot of, oh, I don't know, unmarked mass graves around. Do you have those? Is that uh, what I'm hearing? Ah, nice. Mm hmm. Now you're making me hungry. Locate. Oh. I don't know why it was pointing me there. Unmarked grave. Great town. Really. Kingsmith is lovely. What sights do people have to see? Well, we've got the covered bridge. The old church. Uh, got the, the the historical docks and uh, and of course the unmarked mass graves been okay survived another lap around the sun two days into a yet another I need to kill charred remains and witch trial your average, you know, batch of witch trial victims. What town doesn't have those, you know? Get rid of them so we can grab the uh, little bit of lore here. We need uh, uh, two more charred remains and or witch trial victims.
each ter trial vent, uh, victims evidently have puke as their attack. Frankly, I have to say that sounds a little bit like a stereotyping to me. You see the exorcist, you think, you know, demon-possessed people, you think pea soup puking. I uh, locate a second mass grave. Oh, multiple mass graves. I tell you, does any small town not have multiple mass graves? It, it's, it's just part of the American charm. Kill Blue Ridge Forgotten and Watchmen. Uh, that little mining disaster. That, that could happen anywhere, too. Really? Wow, the body snatcher. forgotten. Lovely Kingsman for all of your holiday needs. You need to be here. In Kingsmith. We'll grab another bit of lore up here. And the third mass grave site. Oh, the second one appeared to be miners and stuff, and this one looks like more miners. Suffocated miners. That's not a great, uh, great way to go, you know. I have to say. A lot of ways to die. None of them are particularly awesome. But suffocating in a mine disaster? That would be pretty far down my list of waiting ways to go. Only the three. They only have the three mass grave sites. And we have whoop, another Wendigo. Decided it wants to say hi. I I had no particular desire to say hi to the Wendigo, but I was not given an option. Sun must be coming up, it's getting lighter. Darknesses converge. The one that came from the sea, eager to meet those that breed in the soil, they attract each other. Kingsmith is rich with occult energy. The witches, the miners, the cultists. All were haunted hunted, all were haunted, and all met violent deaths. The Draug can sense these historical wounds. They peel back their skin and expand their forces. We cannot change Kingsmith's past, but we must strive to learn from it and to keep the Draug. Pistol. Well then, uh, great. We're gonna make it to, to 20? Yeah, we will. We've upgraded our gear to 20. You can use fusion to upgrade it from standard to superior. Well, we will continue to use this, the level 20 one. Oh, 
Oh, did they just give me a second level 20? They did. Oh, nice. Uh, mine has one pip. This is a, a dummy to just fill in the blank and allow me to fuse it, and it will become blue quality level one, but we're, currently it's at 379 weapon power. Five hundred weapon power. That's a significant upgrade. Oh, that's the morning side camp. I'd rather save that for a bit. That's right. Uh, Madame Roger has another quest. Hey, Fenola, how you doing? Good evening, welcome. The woman's got another quest. Really? Well, I'm going to teleport over there. Why not? I am reasonably okay. My hours are still a little messed up, messed up from my uh, annual mortality reminder day celebration. Norma has a quest. It's an investigation quest, I think. Something wicked. There we go. She recalls a series of murders in the summer of 2002. She never believed the story served up by the news. She says the real cop was culprit. It wasn't even human. Talk to me, Norma. Norma. Now I, now I start talking with bad accents again. It's a Somebody. pressure building. The kind that comes before a storm because when she's it going builds to give me and bad builds, but just won't break. Yeah, the ravens, they feel it too. The last time I saw them like this, when the trees were more birds than branches, there were murders. Yeah, that was... Back in 2002, tail end of the long and wicked hot summer. Wicked hot, August, eh? The whole town smelled rotten, and we hadn't seen a drop of rain since June. When the storm finally broke and the ravens flew, the killing stopped. Never believed what the paper wrote about that vagrant, neither did Helen, despite those boys in city council leaning on her. Well, she took a beating. Could have hurt her career, but she was right. It wasn't human hands cut those girls open. An unkindness of ravens, isn't that what they call it? My idea of reading is the TV guide, not anything that could charitably be called literature. But even I know signs and portents when I see them. That would be a sign or portent. The dead body on the gas station sign. Find more information about the murders. All right, we have an investigation. Uh, where would we go to learn more information about the murders? I would think we'd go to the newspaper. The town newspaper. Now, the thing is, I've done these in the past. Unsurprisingly. That's way more damage. Even though those were lower level, those took two or three shots previously. That was one shot to bump off the level four batches. So the new gun is quite good. Oh, be quiet. What's your whining? God. Zombies. Whiners. The paper. City Hall, the town hall that I have. All that stuff. Well, regardless, we're over here. We can get the quest from the fortune teller. It's a lovely place, really. Um, the house values are terrific. Um... Plenty of them are will be available to purchase since most of the town is dead and zombified. In fact, you could probably squat. No one's going to raise a fuss. Don't mind the mess. Oh, she's got an investigation too, so we can only have one of those at a time. 
You can have one main quest and several uh, multiple um, side quests. There we go. You can have three side quests, a sabotage, a dungeon, and an investigation mission, and then the main mission all at the same time. Another player. All right. Looks like we're off to the cult camp. Morning light. Che Garcia Hansen. Bring this to the rendezvous point and get the hell back to Dodge. Don't stop for red lights, don't stop for a smoke, don't stop for a piss. Comprende, amigo? Wait, wait! What the fuck? Wait! We're not done, amigo! Listen, don't fuck this up. Focus. Focus. Leave this circle, and you gotta watch your back. Plenty of creepy crawlers out there. No voodoo to keep you safe. But this is what you signed up for, right? There's more to the morning light than clean living, handing out flyers on the subway and trying to get vertical with Miss Dreadlocks from Orientation Week. We're harbingers of change, dude. We're prophets of mutation. Hoppinges of change, of doom. dude. But change won't happen unless we up and act. Sure, Rome wasn't built in a single day, but it sure as hell wasn't built by deadbeat procrastinators lazing around on their asses, smoking weed, either. You sure? Just get it done. Bees on me 24-7, dude. That's how this thing works. Shit rolls downhill. And the boss has made it pretty clear this is important, and it's got to be taken care of now, not later. Not when you feel like it. Toot fucking sweet. Comprende? Everybody's got to pull their fucking weight, dude. Anybody else is just dead weight. Fucking A, dude. Fucking A. And right after fucking A, obviously, comes fucking B. Then fucking see. After that, it gets dicey. Oop. Uh, bad luck for the, uh, the Visual messenger. Visual tracking initiated. Visual tracking initiated. Oh, he's not dead. He's just badly hurt. Okay. We'll follow the dripping blood. Sanguine going to go. I'm chasing the sanguine wind to go. Whoop. for him to wait for me to finish off those four zombies in the way. It's a very thoughtful Wendigo. There's another undeadite there. But we didn't aggro him. It's 
scattering of bear traps around. That's lovely. He avoids them. I have managed to so far. Morning light is not respectable, but we are unaware of the extent. They are certainly not in Kingsmith to save lost souls. Continue to tread softly and infiltrate their midst. They are a classically misguided top-down organization, both cheap and mindless, used to distribute pamphlets and deliver packages. The head, Philip Marquard, is currently beyond our reach, but everything about him is clothed to be perfect. Perfect family, perfect dog, perfect teeth. On the other side is Che Garcia Hansen. Dead family, dumb dog, rotten teeth. We are interested in what links these opposites, the one called B. Great, the waste talisman. The abandoned Orochi van. Near the abandoned Orochi van, there are signs of a struggle and a trail of blood leads down towards the water. Something bad happened here, and only the trail will give answers. Visual tracking initiated. I will follow the blood stains. Agent's corpse. Deliver the ID card to the Orochi officers. We're located over here by the uh, fog shrouded bridge. Yeah, the stories are very, very good. And the questing is good to extraordinary. Of course, I've got to get the uh, lore while I'm here. Our sponsors in the group were not amused to have the Orochi group. That wasn't even us. It was some plethron guy. Anyway, the old report. Like Just keeping up with Brad. Boyfriend? Ex fiance. We had to call it off when I took this job. It was for the best for both of us. He has two kids now, you know. Cute kids. <clears throat> I guess it's a little stalkerish, but it helps me appreciate the road. Well, let's talk with Harrison Blake. You may recognize the voice. TMD, Disclosure. He is better known for having played uh, a black vulcan. One of the Star Trek series, I can't remember which. Tim something. Hi. Hey. Hi. Hey. Uh, hello. I know you. I mean, not you, you. Ah, the thank you. Of you. Whatever the collective is for a superhero. I'm, I'm trying to remember what I named doing this on purpose. Lost satellite signal again. Word is we're not going to see any. I do remember being pleased Another with one it. of our friendly neighborhood Spider Men. Welcome to the party. Ah, Lucretia, Dig Lucretia Borgia benefits, wasn't it? It's not sarcasm. He isn't capable of sarcasm. Well, she's right. I'm Blake. This is my associate, Ms. Radcliffe. We represent. Uh, an independent think tank, working with the CDC, troubleshooting agency, yeah. for particular kinds of trouble. And if you look up Venefis, like Mount Vernon, Iowa, last you'll understand summer, her nickname. You didn't hear about what happened there. That's my point. An expert at poisons. We're a long-term goal-oriented organization. 
Our role here is to maintain a scientific overview of the situation, not to intervene. And that's what we've been doing, not intervening. Maintaining a scientific overview of the situation, despite continuing setbacks that someone with a, a high-risk skill set might be better aligned to deal with. He means you, and I'm, I'm sure I didn't need to say that bit. Those things, those monsters, they're tearing up our perimeter. I mean, actually tearing it up and carrying it off. This has the potential to be bad on so many levels. On multiple levels. A flight of superheroes? A fray? We're done here. Goodbye. I'd say uh, they are snappy dressers. I do like uh, I do like their attire, the Orochi. Defend the perimeter. I'm going to defend the perimeter, presumably by shooting and the like. Reload. Find bits of barricades stolen by the drow. Destroy the stolen pieces of technology. Well, there's one. Two. Empty gas can, a hose, and a funnel. Apparently, these ones happen to be hanging around here in the general vicinity. So, there's the hose. can. And a funnel. I kind of have a reason for a funnel. Act like witches' hats on the pumpkins. Siphon gas from an abandoned car. Ooh, this one, perhaps? Yeah. How about this one? Doodle doo. Burn a pod cluster. Okay.
I'm sure they won't mind. Me setting fire to, like, their birthing mechanics. Figer Lord out there. We've got a lore item here. It is not a pod. There it is. This is a pod cluster. Just needed to find the right place to ignite the pod cluster. Kill the Figer Warmonger that's evidently going to pop out of it. Okay! Delicious goodness. Okay, not all that delectable but delicious. Ah, the broken RC plane. That needs to go back to um oh, grab the plane. Dummy head. Until now, our great advantage over the Draug has been their discomfort on land. However, they are adapting quickly. The Draug are not only taking land-based technology from the Orochi group, but tactics as well. We must now interrogate sophistication, the sophistication of these tactics. The Orochi group are blocking access to New Colony Span Bridge, the Draug to large varieties of pod clusters. One is tempted to conclude that these things are, then are of the utmost importance. But one must not take for granted the power of this direction. In their place, it is certainly what we would do. More pistols. Let's see. Gunning up with our shotgun, so to speak. And Anne, do you have a question for me as well? Anne Radcliffe and Harrison Blake worry about the mutated zombies on Priest Island. Their abnormal growth could be triggered by an environmental source. Investigate the island. I'm familiar with that expression. It means the progress versus time graph for this operation is about to stop making us look good. It's these abnormally deformed condition 17s. Can we just start calling them zombies, sir? The autopsy shows muscle mass still expanding, new neural activity. I'm trying to isolate the chemical reactions, but in a sound bite. Zombies on PCP. Hmm. Humor me for the sake of our field report. The condition, the zombies, they are slabs of dead tissue. Ambulatory, cannibalistic, but dead, inert. What's the stimulus? My guess? An environmental trigger. See how they've been concentrated around this northern island? We need to contain this mutation. We need to get out there and... Absolutely no field trips, Radcliffe. Safety first. We're just the science detail, and we're already closer than optimal survival distance to the occult epicenter on this one. Leave that to the red shirts. Did you just drop a Star Trek reference, sir? Whatever gave you that idea. Knife twist, the voice actor from Star Trek. Hi. Tim, can't remember his name. I think it's Tim. Oh, I'm off to Priest Island. Yeah, what could possibly go wrong in this area at a place named after priests? I'm sure it's nothing. Spoiler, it's not nothing. Uh, look what the tide brought in. A damaged canister with the Orochi logo has washed up, washed up on the shores of Priest Island and is oozing strange liquid. 
other undamaged canisters are scattered nearby, they should be returned to their owner. Collect Orochi canister. Feral zombies. That's kind of much all, kind of mostly all of them, isn't it? I mean, that's kind of what being a feral zombie is about. But being a zombie is about kind of about, always about being feral. He's a hulking mass. A hunk, a hunk of burning love, as it were. Except it doesn't have any love. It's a hunk. Uh, an awful lot of hunk, it looks like. Maximal hunkage. Source of the zombie mutations. Well, I need to collect boulders. And I also. Uh, I've collected a boulder. These may look like boulders, but are evidently not boulders. They have a superficial resemblance to boulders, but are not boulders. Boulders apparently are roughly bowling ball shaped. I don't think he's going to want me picking up his rocks. He dropped a legend. Zombies. Or as I like to call them, Zomboys. The seven boulders now. This may give us ten. We're up to ten boulders now. Looks like there might be two more over here together in a pair. Because, hey, I like to have my boulders always in a pair. You know what I mean? Let's drop our rocks. Cover up the dark well. Ah, uh, we've got more dark wells. That's, that's unwise. <sighs> Not just a hulk, mind you. A rapidly mutating hulk. Thanks. The phlegmy cough is a nice final note to hear from you. Thanks for sharing. Let's 
drops more rocks. Uh, there's a Surf Nasty out there, is what that guy is named. I don't think he's all that bad. Okay, he's probably all that bad. Consistent with me being under attack, but I missed her. Let's see. There's another named mob over there, which I think is an enormous freaking bear. Yeah, that's Solomon's Omen. him off. Wasn't even trying. It's a gift I have making make people angry. Alright, maybe gift isn't the right word. A gift you can return. A skill? Honed through a lifetime of practice. of the dark wells. Well, the basic ones. There's a more advanced one. Uh, big earthquake. Find the source of a rupture. Uh, I probably took a misstep and I ruptured myself. And he's big. That's a colossal hulk. I will seal the dark fountain. Ooh, but it's giving off chocolate syrup. Why would I want to stop that? These black toxic pools gushing out of the earth are like lesions bursting upon the skin of a dying man. The earth is dying on Priest Island. And by all accounts, this is a rotten death. There is, of course, a resulting growth that we hesitate to call life. The undead hulks are more like restless scabs. Oh, that's, that's an analogy I didn't need. Perhaps these ugly forms of death and mutation are necessary parts of the cycle. Perhaps not. We will ruminate on the matter. In the meantime, please seek more information about the nature and composition of the black liquid. Don't wanna. Just don't wanna. go. Another challenge complete. Nice. Shotgun. Excellent. Hope you can all understand the grunting I'm making. What are we missing? Oh, the Orochi canisters. I haven't actually seen any of those canisters. There's one, I think. Yeah. 
why I missed them now, I don't know, but I did. There's one out of five. Looking for more Orochi canisters. With as little fighting as possible, hopefully. Gets in the way, you know? Not another canister. Good, good, good. That's two. And that's three. Did get credit for that one? I did. Four. Just picked that one up twice. So that's that's convenient. And five. Find more information about the murders. Now that's right, that's uh, what's her name? It's what the tide brought in. There we go. Return those to Orochi. There we are. Well, the fastest way to do that is to just use the animal. Jump. Again, I repeat anima. A. Doo -doo -doo. Here's your cray. Here's your uh, your canisters back. Thought I could help. I suppose. Upgrade to level nineteen. We got some points. Let's spend some points. All in is like twenty of them, right? And in the AP, passes. Hold out is next, we can get that. You hold out as long as you can when you finish using unload, granting you a 33% chance to not spin your chamber if you already have a match set. Sure. Still got a couple of quests from these guys, but we have. We have a sabotage quest and you are also the dungeon quest sites of this from, from Anne. Black helicopters in the group were not amused to have employees twittering they'd leapfrog the human genome. Project. Anne Radcliffe is apprehensive about some of her employees' actions. There seems to be a lot of secret activity Anyways, beyond her security clearance. Uh, she's worried that something up with might not be for the greater good. She hints at voice activity. Ex fiance. We had to call it off when I took this job. It was for the best for both of us. We will come back later. Yes, you Over here. That's the one I've got. That is boys will be boys. Resurrected the animal well for King's Strait. Tiny little armpit of a town, but gotta say, 
Got a nice little skate park. Or had, you know, before a whole bunch of dead body parts were over here. Hi, Danny. Here's your busted ass remote control playing again. Transfer the data to laptop. Check the transferred data. Webcam photo. Why bother sending such worthless information? The camera's files have obviously been corrupted by an EMP of some sort, which explains why the plane is in the tree in the first place. While your efforts are valued, you must continue in this passport. He's got young pop culture survivalist Danny Dufresne watched as the men in black arrived to combat the supernatural menace. Did they? According to Dufresne, they seemed more interested in experimenting with the monster population. They had ulterior motives. We should discover them. Like that would cancel the current mission. Half finished flamethrower. Danny's but non working flamethrower lying on the table, but there are no suitable parts around to fix it. Quick Edgar's access inventory updated. Scrapyard. Edgar's dogs. We haven't been to Edgar's dogs yet, have we? Are the dogs Abbott and Costello? I don't remember. That's what my brain is telling me. Bit of an obscure reference for you kids today. Dulu. Edgar Scrapyard. Nope, Tango and Cash. That's even a little bit more remote than I expected. Edgar wants to keep the zombies and Draug out of the scrapyard barricades. Barricades help, but supporting the defense with corrosives and other homemade concoctions will help even more. Tango! Cash! Down, boys! I said down! Hush or you'll taste a stick. You know we will. <laughs> Shut your pie holes, boys! We got ourselves visitors! Woohoo! And this one's breathing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now that's more like it. Ooh, they're mean some bitches. Sooner buy a chunk off your BUT is look at you. Watch as you don't make eye contact, particularly with Cash there. That's the one right there. You don't much care for that. And he's the friendly one. <laughs> hey, Tangle, leave that arm alone. It's infected. Fucking dumb motherfucker. Jesus Christ on a bicycle. Fucker's got a taste for Frankies. <laughs> Oh, dog's been keeping the yard clean. Goddamn Frankensteins get spooked by them. Those who don't get spooked, they get torn into tiny little pieces. Even I get sick of watching them go at it. And I've seen some sick shit in my life. But the boys, they can't get to all of them. Frankies and Smurfs keep popping up like, uh, like bunny rabbits at Easter. Boom, boom, you know what I mean? Oh. You a dog person? Cats are good for nothing, except as yowling dish rags. <clears throat> you been a hero and all? I'm guessing it don't matter much. He's a charmer. You ain't got a choice. You're here to fight Frank is and those mutant smurfs, right? I even got some toys you can play with. Toys that go boom and splat. Don't ask me where I get them, because I won't tell you, and they ain't none of your business. You understand me? <laughs> Look at that serious face on you. So now, maybe my boys can take a breather, while I get some work done on the short bus from hell right here. <clears throat> we got ourselves a deal, hero. Mind you keep the noise down. Tango and Cash are the sensitive ties, you know? But I reckon they'll be happy to pick through the pieces after.
charmer indeed. And as you can tell, his writing is second grade at least. The zombie waster. Mm -hmm. Locate the batch of defenses. Edgar's toy. Pick up one of his Temporary toys. Abilities Flaming barrels near the barricade. Salt starting moving. Leaving the mission area. Let's just move. Barricades fell. Returned to I hate it because I stepped out for too long. the batch, first batch of defenses. Pick up one of Edgar's toys. All right. Temporary abilities acquired. Place a flaming, flaming barrel near the barricade. Go to the assault starting. Completed. Locate the second batch of defenses. Okay. Temporary abilities acquired. Ah, okay, what do we got? We got gunk barrels, flaming barrels, and pulse grenades. So we drop, say, a gunk barrel. flaming barrel. And then we throw a whole shitload of grenades at him. Wait for the next batch. They appear to be coming here. difficult to make work. Where they change up your freaking controls. Every game that does that most of the time in my personal uh, belief, it, it's always a pain in the ass. You change up your hot bars. You get used to playing your character, whatever it is you're playing. The class whatever one particular way and all of a sudden no we want you to play in something entirely different. it's just not fun gameplay let's put it that way temporary abilities acquired so if we come out here and we drop that outside maybe one of these here. Is anything coming? Okay, I see.
Ah, wrong way. It working. God damn it. Yeah, this is this is one of those things where designers think they're clever. And they do it in so many games. It works pretty well in Lord of the Rings Online. Where they have session play. Um, it works brilliantly in WoW. Anytime they give you a mission like this where they change up your hotbar to give you special attacks or you're flying in a machine and you have to operate a cannon or drop the bombs from an aerial or from a balloon or something. Those quests are always fun because they're easy to do. When you change up a hotbar like this and it's a, in any way a challenge, all you're doing is inviting frustration from, for the players. It's it is a poor design choice, unless you can make it extremely elegant and playable, or very simple and fun. And it's just frustration. That's too close, buddy. Oh, well, I did get credit for the first... I don't have to completely redo the whole thing. Just this last batch. Acquired. Did I not pick them up? Weird, I'm not getting the uh, place of tra oh, place of barrel. Of damage is the, the oh, oh I'm doing the damage my um, myself to it. No, there's another one. She just stood out there. No desire to deal with this shit. Sorry, it's just such a dreadful. Because any kind of screw up on that. It just turns what ought to be something theoretically amusing into a frustration, and no player wants more frustration in their games. Challenge is fine. We can deal with challenge. We like challenge. We want it to be fair. We want it to be, well, fun. this mail up and take it back to Edgar. They have um, a good, they do a good job with their breadcrumb quests. Stuff like this. Oh, mail that didn't get delivered. Oh, I guess I'll just take it to Edgar. And Edgar's got quests for you. I'll go to the house near the scrapyard. Really Edgar's house. Stick it in his mailbox. Stick it in his mailbox, all right.
That is a three pip necklace. So we're going to finish this, get this one up to level 20. We'll level this one up to 20 after that, and then we'll combine this one into this one, and we'll get a three pip blue. Unearthed rubble. I will talk to the unearthed rubble, which just makes it up, it makes it angry at me. I, mean, I know when I get wakened up, I don't take it very well either. Upgrade the waste talisman. Golem. Something over here. Don't get angry at me. Dead Draug. Well, there's no shortage of those around. What makes this one special? Someone's been placing traps around the airport, taking out Draug that rushed the area. Who are these mysterious survivalists? Where are they hiding? Follow the trail of traps. Trap. Traps. the trail of traps somewhere, I think. The Kingsmith Airport. Can now resumect, resumect? I can resumect here now. Resumect? My brain, you know? My brain, once upon a time, it was a wonder. It worked beautifully, my brain. Yeah, no, not so much. Ah, uh, mind you, it's still recognizably a brain. It works in unexpected ways. Two more main missions and one more bonus. That's a hammer. If I had a hammer. Dot, dot, dot. I'd, uh, I'd feed it to my shotgun. It, it doesn't necessarily make a lot of sense. But... Ellis. According to Ellis Hill, the generator at the airport's been acting up, and the reliability of the runway light suffers from it. The sea beasts get bolder in the dark, which in everyone's interest in the light safe. I know it is not pleasant. Talk to me, Alice. Who the hell goes there? Identify yourself. 
goddamn. Thought you might be one of them. You better be more careful. Accidents can happen when you sneak up on a man. Put it there. Uh, I understand perfectly. Man's got to guard his handshake. Gives away a lot of a person's soul. I'm not talking about that palm reading shit. Shake a man's hand, you get a sense of his worth. His past and present. See the wear on these? Metalworking hands. For fixing things up. Or breaking them. Real slow. No secrets. All in plain sight. More than you can say for this island. You got the back and the stomach for digging deep. All manner of shit comes out. But nothing I haven't seen the likes of in my line of work. You're thinking there's nothing dangerous about what I do. You'd be wrong. I can tell you all about what people try to hide behind a coat of white paint. Generator's been acting up, which is fine during the day, but at night, they get bolder when the lights are out, the sea beasts. And my aim gets worse. Makes it hard to tell friend from foe. I think it's in everybody's best interest if those runway lights stay on. Uh, examine the airport blueprints on the wall. Boop doop. Check the wiring in passage one. door down. That's not a really good park job, I'm going to have to say, for the fire department. Really, they could have done better. You'll note we see electrical shocks visiting around in the water. That does imply a certain amount of hazard. Okay, that's one might guess. I took a little shock. It's fine. I'll walk it off. Wiring in passage two. Uh, I can't get in that way, so. How about this one? Hmm, bad guys. Nope, not that one. I'm sure it was that one. But I was wrong. Ah. Hmm. Yeah, that's bad. Poison. It's gotta be. Which I have uh, my doubts. Didn't look like this opened up, but I'm mistaken. No, no, I think we're gonna have to try and dart across. I don't remember. 
Or is there a path in the middle that's clear? There is. Not sure I even remember that from before. Partway through. Ah, to here, it looks like. Still not recommended. Check this one next. This is the one, unless I think we actually have to go outside. Interesting, those are, are locked. I don't have access to those quests. He's level 50. Um, I'm going to say that this is not where I want to be. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that's not where I want to be. As a level 50 is the cap, and I, sadly... I'm not. And, uh, bad things would happen. That's my prediction. Bad things would just happen. idea. Wrong exit. I don't. My bad. I made a mistake. I hope you can forgive me. Look into your heart. Movie reference. Go to the generator room. This one does require me to go outside. Badness awaits. The big nasty fangs. It's called the Circuit Breaker. There's a beaten body here. And, surprise, surprise. A dead maintenance worker near the generator room of the airport clutches an interesting piece of information about Ellis Hill. Information that questions the real identity of the man. The situation could warrant some investigation. The guy who turned up today? 
claiming to be Ellis Hill is not the guy who he says he is. I serve with the real Ellis Hill in Iraq, and this ain't him. Whoop. The badness has respawned, although he apparently is very forgiving. The airport is a significant access point. Now, if anyone tries to come or go, we will know about it. However, one begins to wonder, are there enough generators in the world to pierce the mysteries of Kingsman? It feels as though we are lighting candles in the void. Each new flicker emphasizes the darkness around us, but we will persist. We shall light a thousand, we must. We shall sooner turn the island into a blaze of revelation than allow ourselves to remain. something about Ellis Hill. And I think the mystery of that can wait until her chance to blow up. This is a good breakpoint. So I'm going to call it here. I want to thank you guys for hanging out with me tonight. I should be back tomorrow at my usual time of 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern, most likely, for more Secret World Legends action. Unless I can get Secret World itself working. But until then, uh, I'm going to call it a night. Again, thank you guys for hanging out with me. Um, I will be enjoying the uh, fruits of the grain tomorrow night. So uh, Sunday's stream is maybe. Um, regardless, I'll be back tomorrow. Have a great night tonight. Enjoy your Friday evening, and I hope your weekend is um, terrific. So have a great weekend. I will catch you next time. Have a great night tonight. Take care and ciao for now. Night, guys.